Hey everyone, it's Darling D. Tarot, and I wanted to show you this new deck that I got in the mail. Um, so I won it in a giveaway that the Wise Fool Tarot on Instagram was hosting for their deck. Um, they were giving away two free decks, and I was so lucky, and I won one. So I'm so excited, and I thought that I would share it here on YouTube, as I am going to be using it a lot more in the future. And it's such a beautiful deck that I just really wanted to share it. Um, it's so interesting and so unique um, to itself, and um, you know, I just love how each uh, and every single card in here has such a deep meaning, especially in the book. Um, here's a little booklet. Let me see if I can get it in there. There's the pages, and it's beautifully written. Um, this is an awesome, awesome deck. This is by Cade Burkhammer, and this is just honestly incredible. Um, it's a lot thicker of a deck than the other decks that I'm used to and the other um, cards that I work with um, tend to be a little stiffer than these cards. They're very flexible. Look at that. Look at that. Um, which is honestly the dream. You know, as a tarot reader, you can find that after, you know, a few hours of reading that your hands really, really hurt. Um, you know, not even a few hours, even just a few minutes. If the cards are very stiff, if the cards are very thick or they aren't flexible, um, that can bring you a lot of pain in your thumbs, like all in here. And then you're like, Ugh. so, um, you know, like almost like it feels sprained, but this really helps with that, like, oh, just the dream. <laughs> um, so we're going to get right into this and look at the cards and each individual card, just look at it. Um, I'm just going to flip through um, and take our time looking. There are a lot of cards in this deck um, and they are all so beautiful, but I just really wanted to share this. If you haven't um, been following them already, go ahead to their Instagram page and, you know, like them and and follow them and support them and buy this deck honestly it's incredible um it's an amazing quality um yeah i just love it <laughs> there's so many things about this deck to love um it's very diverse i would say that out of every deck it is very very diverse and that's what i love about it um in this first card it's muggle and each of these people is a different nationality, basically representing each um, aspect of life, um, each walk of life, you know, all of those things together, and they're all one family, you know, and this also brings together the aspect of, you know, that everyone is the same universal light and universal energy, at least that's what I get for me, is this idea of, um, you know, we are all just, you know, the same the same entity the same thing you know the only thing that matters is that we love each other and you know we respect one another um but yeah i love that the theme of diversity really really runs through this deck and it's incredible honestly i love it i love 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 it um so yeah we're gonna just continue on and yeah occasionally i'll probably go on a little bit of a ramble but Aren't these beautiful? Honestly. The cardstock is awesome. Um, the front of the cards like right here is very um, glossy, um, while the back is a little bit more, um, it's still glossy, but it's a little more rough or a little bit more matte, and I love it. The cards don't stick together. Um, they're very easy to separate on their own, um, which is honestly incredible. I've already um, drawn cards with this and used it and shuffled it around and so I've just rearranged it so that it looks good again <laughs> um, before I then shuffle it and make it a mess. Um, but yeah, it's honestly uh, an incredible deck to shuffle and to work with.
you move forward a little bit. There we go. That's perfect. <laughs> Aren't these cards gorgeous, though? I love how they're so different from traditional tarot, but they still invoke the same meanings and the same um, uh, ideas that they represent, um, but in so many different ways. They're all different universal ideas, and um, it's just so interesting, the amount of different ideas in this deck. There are so many cool aspects um that every card is genuinely different like in some decks you can find um in some tarot that you know some of the cards um might tend to have the same overall meaning at times or um you know at least the same vibe you know in this deck genuinely everything has a different meaning and it's incredible. It's incredible the way that um, this was thought through. Look at that. I love this card. So this kind of reads out like a regular card deck, um, just in the way that it is uh, spades, hearts, diamonds, and um, clubs. And basically, um, what we're in now is in spades, and this represents swords, obviously. Um, but hearts represents cups, um, wands represent... Uh, or, um, clubs <laughs> it escaped my mind for a minute <laughs> um but yeah and then diamonds represent uh pentacles the way that help that helps me remember them is that spades can be a little bit sharp um i think about um gardening spades or anything like that um also you know hearts is you know obviously emotions and that's that's cups and regular tarot when we think about um clubs we can think about you know regular clubs um and what are clubs usually made out of wood <laughs> that's really cheesy but it helps me <laughs> oh cheat cheat <laughs> and um yeah, diamonds, diamonds come from the earth, you know, they're mined from the earth, so that is pentacles, because pentacles are uh, material items and, um, you know, things like that. But yeah, I was, um, I was very, like, wow <laughs> when i f when i figured that out it was honestly a game changer <laughs> i don't know but yeah spark notes tarot edition <laughs> This is one of my favorite cards in the deck. Oh my gosh, I love this card. When we come up to one of my favorite cards, I'm actually going to um, read you...
Sorry if you hear shuffling around in the background, that's my dog. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> I also wanted to say the fool in this tarot deck, which is this. Let me find him, hold on. Just because I have an interesting thing to show, it just dawned on me like, oh, I should show that. Do you see the dog in this? You see him? My fur baby and the absolute love of my life passed on earlier this year, and look at how much he looks like that. I just wanted to share that. I think that's so beautiful. Okay, we'll get right back into it, but... Yeah. Yes. I don't know. That was just very special to me, and I thought that I should share that. <laughs> so let's continue on with these beautiful cards. I love this card. I thought I'd just like add that in. <laughs> There's the back. So let's draw just one random card. Kind of all a mess, because I just tossed them together, but <laughs> that's all right. Let's just draw one card for the video. Look at how nice they 
shuffle and they glide together honestly oh the beauty <laughs> Although my fingers are still very, um, short. Okay. So let's actually just cut the deck and grab one off the top and see what we get. So we have the, the five of clubs. So we are going to look up the five of clubs in the book. Let's put it there. There you go. Now we can see it. So fives in this deck represent struggle. Um, and in this card, we can definitely see that there is some struggle going on. They don't seem to all be doing the same thing you know what I mean like if you're on a baseball team generally you know you all um are on two different teams and you tend to all work together and it's very uniform very well thought out everyone is um playing equally and trying to help each other but here we see the exact opposite of that you know it's kind of like utter chaos <laughs> Um, but yeah, so let's see what the, let me get back to finding that. Um, okay, here it is. The five of clubs. It says five baseball players from different teams fight each other with flaming bats. Delicate flowers grow from the home plate and caution the players from sliding into home. A sense of conflict and frustration is being experienced. Others are challenging the unity of the self and spirit that was experienced in the Four of Wands card. They sabotage each other until they realize that they are similar and possess the same passion for the same game. You may be feeling conflict in your environment because you are not the same person you used to be. This is a time of simultaneous determination and immobilization. This card may also signify ideas that are being challenged through an energetic exchange or a positive result emerging from feuding for the common good. Um, this is an awesome card, and I really, really love the description. Every description um, of every card in this is really um, well thought out and well written. Um, Really, you can't go wrong with any of these um, cards. So, yeah. That was the Wise Fool Tarot deck. Thank you for taking the time to really look through the cards with me and listen to me gush about how much I adore these cards. <laughs> and I hope that you have a great day. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, also, make sure to head over to their page on Instagram, um, the Wise Fool Tarot. I believe it's just under Wise Fool Tarot. Um, but yeah, definitely check them out um, and place an order online if this deck really, really calls to you because it is a wonderful deck, especially if you collect them, if you collect tarot, if you collect oracle, you know, anything like that. This is a beautiful deck. Um, I think it's especially great if you are to buy this for someone that's going to be a beginner in tarot. Um, the book is very, very informative and the pictures are very descriptive on their own too. So it's very easy to pick up on vibes and feelings and things like that so yeah definitely check that out and make sure to keep an eye out for my uh, tarot deck reviews i'm hoping to do these at least uh, once every month um but yeah just to show off some decks that i really love and yeah <laughs> so make sure to subscribe so you can be alerted for that and i will definitely be using these uh tarot cards in the future in the majority of my readings because i love them um <laughs> and i know you will too if you get them um but yeah uh 
thank you guys for spending this time with me. And I hope you have a great rest of your day or night, depending on when you're watching this. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!